Today we're going to color correct this image using Photoshop tone curves and I'm going to use two different methods. First one we're going to use the Photoshop algorithm to color correct and after that I'm going to manually adjust a tone curve to try to get the same effect. So let's start with our first method here and that's using Photoshop's algorithm to color correct. So we're going to go down to the curves here and let's set up a tone curve. And the first thing you want to do is go up to the auto button right here. And if you're using a Mac, you want to hold down the option button or control on a PC and click auto. That's going to bring up this window here. So let's click on our find dark and light colors. Also, if you want to save this as a default, go down here, click this little box and hit OK. And what that's going to do is every time you set up a tone curve, if you click that auto button, that's going to automatically color correct. So let's take a look at before and after. There's before and there's after. It's done a fantastic job. And the other thing you can do, make sure you're selected on the tone curve. You can go up to the gray eyedropper. And if you have a gray card that you've taken your photo with, or if you can find gray in the photo, give that a click and you can see it's taking it even further. So there's before and there's after. And I'm going to make a copy of this here. And there we go. So I've got that saved color corrected. So I'm going to label this auto. So that's our first color correction. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to manually adjust this. So let's go to tone curves again. And I'm going to try to set this up manually to color correct. So let's go into the red channel here. And what you want to do with these, here's your black point, here's your white point. Here's where the information is, and you want to make sure that these points are pretty close to zero where the black point starts and where the white point starts as well. So now let's go to the next one. This step is a little more tedious, so there I'm taking it there. And the information is a little funny here, but let's go just bring it right there. Go to the blue channel, and the blue one information starts up here, so I'm going to bring it right up here and bring this one back there and you can see it's done a pretty good job of color correcting we can do a few more things here i'm in the blue channel so i'm going to boost up the mid tones a bit more let's go to the red channel and let's drop these a bit more and that is looking really good so there's before and there's after now i'm going to make another copy of this there we go, and let's say manual adjust. So I did that really quick. Sometimes you can really fine tune these things. So there's our auto. It's done a really good job. Actually, I like the manual one. It's got a bit more contrast in it, and that's just because I played with the tone curves. And there we have before and after. And our first method here was using the auto setting for the algorithm. And the last one here was using the manual tone curve adjust. Hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe if you want more quick Photoshop tutorials.